Welcome back to Heath Rouse Barbecue. In today's episode of Sheet in the Queue, I'm going to be doing something a little bit simple. A cheesy bacon meatball slider. Let's get started. All right, the first thing that we want to do is get our Golden's cast iron grill fired up with a place setter in it, running about 300 degrees with some roll oak charcoal. So I'm gonna get that lit up, and then I'm gonna start prepping my meat. All right, now for the actual meatball recipe, we're taking two pounds of ground beef, ground chuck. It depends on what you want. It's up to you, it don't matter. If you have some Wagyu trimmings, I wish I had some, but I've used all mine. By all means, use that. Keep this recipe really simple, really easy. I'm going in with three quarters cup of chopped cooked bacon. I'm going with three quarter cups of crackers because I'm out of breadcrumbs here at home. Three quarters cup of diced onion and three quarters cup of cheddar cheese. Now, once I do that, I'm also gonna come in here and do about three quarters of a cup of my barbecue sauce. And then I'm gonna come back with a little bit of my sweet barbecue rub. Now, for a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, onion, paprika, chili powder, all that, and some pepper flakes, I'm gonna come back with a little bit of my beef rub. And I'm gonna say that's probably about a half a tablespoon of sweet rub to a tablespoon, and about a tablespoon of beef rub if you wanna get specific with it. Then I've got one egg lightly beaten. I'm gonna throw it in there. Now all that's left to do is get on another glove and mix this up and make some meatballs. This recipe would make a great game day recipe for a slider, something quick on the grill. If you don't wanna use chopped bacon in it, you can actually wrap it in bacon or leave the bacon out. You can customize this recipe to make it your own. What you don't wanna do, I'm folding it over and bending it under, and I've about got it mixed where I wanna be. And now I just wanna start molding in the balls. So I'm gonna take a small handful and when I get them rolled out, I'll come back and get them all in a cast iron dish and we're gonna get them smoked up. All right, now that we've got our meatballs all rolled up, the only thing I wanna do is get them on my Golden's cast iron. Like I said, I've got my place setter in place, roll oak lump charcoal, we're running about 300 degrees. They're not gonna burn with the place setter in place, you just wanna get them done. Now that our meatballs on the grill, we wanna give them at least about 30 minutes because the grill's down to 250, it's gonna keep climbing back up to 300 where it's gonna settle in at. I'm gonna leave it alone, let it be for about 30 minutes and then check them. They might be ready to get in some good barbecue sauce to get some more flavor on them. We'll be back. All right, we're back. It's been exactly right at 30 minutes. I would recommend checking your meatballs if you make them this size right here, about the size of a golf ball in about 20. We're hitting right at 160, 162, 163 in some of these. Some of them's hitting 165. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get them panned up and get some sauce on them and get them back on here and get them heated up. I've got a brand new bottle here that I'm gonna pour in. And I'm just gonna let this get hot, let it simmer in it a little bit. You can cover the pan if you want to, you not cover it. I'm gonna leave my pan uncovered because I want a little bit of smoke to get to it and just let things get nice and happy and I may stir them around a couple times. And then we're gonna be come back and get ready to serve them on some slider buns. So let's get the grill lid shut, let them go for about another five to 10 minutes and check them. All right, our meatballs is off of the grill. We're gonna assemble these sliders, but I wanna recap first. We took two pounds of ground beef, or ground chuck, whatever you'd like to use. We seasoned it up with a little bit of our dry rubs. We then come back with a little bit of barbecue sauce, a beaten egg, some cheddar cheese, some bacon, and some onion. We formed them in meatballs, put them on our Golden's cast iron smoker at about 250 to 300 degrees. They cook for right under 30 minutes. Uh, they were almost done. We put them in a pan, poured a bottle of barbecue sauce over them, got them all good and coated up, and there's only one thing left to do. That's assemble some sliders. Let's go right here. You got a little bit of sauce. I always like a little bit of cheese on mine, so when you put a little bit of cheese on it there and skewer them up, these is gonna be great for a game or anything you're looking to do at home, a tailgate to heat ahead of time and heat up and carry with you. They're easy to make ahead and freeze and just have to pop them on the smoker. Remember, this recipe is simple and delicious, and if you like what we're doing, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Now there's not but one thing left to do, and that's get in here and try this meatball. Mmm. 
And that bacon cheeseburger flavor with a little bit of barbecue twist to it with the cheese on it. I think maybe next time I may melt a little of this cheese on the meatballs before I make the sliders. Give that a try. I'll see y'all next week for another video.